one more to round it out. Yes, thank you so much, Pink. I appreciate you. Let's see if it makes it into the cup. It did. It did make it into the very full cup. This chair is so squeaky, though. Do you guys hear all this? It's so loud. Set the chair on fire. Wait, what? All right, guys. All the stats. Doctors have cleared Navarro Bowman. I We've got to do it. It's playoffs. High chance of re-injury. Even if he takes a hit, he's better than Maxi Strickland. This also... Might make it so we don't have to move Sean Kendall to middle linebacker. Gosh, that's a high chance of re-injury. Look how slow he would be. He'd be 64 speed. He would get burned in coverage non-stop. I don't even think we could play that. That's just too much. 64 speed? There's no way he can play defense with that. I We can't do it. Stefan, thank you for that follow, man. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. Oh my gosh. What is that? Who is that? Adding another hour to the stream. Sneaky Nation. Can we get some love in the chat? Snail, what's going on, man? I didn't fire the cops, man. I didn't do it. Adding another hour to the stream. Sneaky Nation rising up like crazy right now. Thank you so much. Another tier 2 sub. 11.50. We're back to a 12-hour stream just about. My goodness. I've made no progress at all. 15-hour long stream now. Oh, man. Thank you so much. All right. We've got some roster moves to make, unfortunately. Let me go ahead and fix all of this first. But we've got some roster moves to make here, and it's going to be difficult. Going to be difficult. Let's see. Oh, wait. No, not that. For the 100, move this up to 8. Six new subs or sub points on the day. Thank you guys so very much. Recent. And what did it automatically update last time? I don't think it did. All right. And we will continue on. Thank you guys for all hanging out here today, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. Not that I need that name on my stream because I didn't fire them. Oh, I got to make up lies. I don't understand. Don't don't understand. Okay, yeah, we do have a lot of XP to spend, so we need to do that. Clearly, um, all right. So depth chart. Here's where we are hurting. Two middle linebackers, both out. Forsey's done for the season. He will not be back, um, in time to play. So that'll free up a, a roster spot right there. That'll free up one roster spot. Missing our star rookie quarterback, Hudson Bonani. Navarro Bowman, we had a chance to bring him back. He would have 64 speed. We really could not deal with that. So what I think we are going to have to do, and this is kind of like a Hail Mary. It might not work. And I'm worried because teams should not be making changes like this at this point in the season. But I just don't know what options we have. We are going to cut Cedric Curry. Clearly not liking him. Not reliable at all. I need to sign a backup that if something happens, worst case scenario to Asher McClover, we have another option. Resolute. 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 I don't know what I was saying with the shh part. But Resolute, thank you for that follow, man. Welcome to Sneaky Nation, dude. How you doing today? All right. Best quarterback available. Oh, rip the dream. Cedric Curry is the best quarterback available. Wow. <coughs> Are you for real, though? All right, this guy has 81 short throw accuracy. 
I think I'm going to sign him solely for that reason. He doesn't look as good overall wise. I cannot believe there's not a better quarterback than Cedric Curry. Wow. That is unexpected. All right, I think we're going to take... Who has the best short throw accuracy? Worst case scenario, and we got an injury. We're going to need to just do dink passes. Dane Wakefield has some speed to roll outside the pocket, has okay short throw accuracy. I think we're just going to sign him. Hopefully it doesn't get to a point where we need Dan Wakefield to play. But if we do, he can at least excel in those two areas. We'll see. We will see. The other options are, we can look at middle linebacker. I don't know what's going to be available here. All right. Leroy Fisher. Really not an upgrade over our middle linebacker now. Which, granted, I need two of them, right? So, getting a middle linebacker here would help. But I have another idea. Risky. It's going to be risky. My idea, and I've talked about this as something for the future moving Sean Kendall to middle linebacker that would give us Sean Kendall and Maxi Strickland there Maxi Strickland will be okay he's done all right for us um not outstanding but he'll do okay then take Trevante Heath and move him to strong safety I, I don't think we have another option at this point based on what I saw in free agency. I think that's what we're going to have to do. You alright, Dumpling? Don't know how this is going to work. We'll see. All right. A bit nervous about this. Then I'll move Diamond to back up free safety. But I don't really want Diamond to play much because he has terrible zone coverage. Okay. Sean Kendall rates as a 72 overall here. I did not anticipate him going down that much. Tackles at 76. Hit power's at 90. Block shed's not good. Power, like, he's not going to be rushing the pat. Well, he might, but more for that zone coverage. Really, this again is the last, last resort. These injuries to our two starting middle linebackers have kind of brought us here. It's a risk. I don't know what other options have. We'll see how it plays out, though. We'll just have to wait and see how it plays out, because... Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have any rushing skills. I'm not concerned. I don't need him rushing a lot. I just need him in that zone coverage. Just going to need him in that zone coverage. We'll see how that goes. As far as stats for the season, Diamond stats suck. They're terrible. Hudson Bonani, the rookie, missed the last handful of games, but had 4,300 yards, 30 touchdowns, 20 interceptions on the season. Asher McClover, his backup, very solid here. Seven touchdowns, only one interception. Running the ball, Kirk Lemary, nearly 1,700 yards, 14 touchdowns for him. Carlos Hyde with five touchdowns. Hudson Bonani with three. Nixon with one. We also saw Rashawn Sellers have a pretty outstanding game there. At the end of the season. Receiving Darion Cleveland. 124 yards. 
Uh, just under 1,400 yards and 14 touchdowns for the rookie tight end out of UCLA. Siante Cherry, the rookie out of Tennessee, 102 catches and uh, 1,500 yards, nearly 1,600 yards, seven touchdowns for him. Dimitri Todman, 53 catches, 700 yards, five touchdowns. Parrish Mooney, 50 catches, 516 and five touchdowns. Shaquan Fryer with four, Corey Essex with one, Anton Nixon with one. Defense. Leading the way with tackles, Sean Kendall, 125. Sacks, 19 and a half by Tajay Veal, 16 and a half by DeForest Buckner, 6 and a half by Armstead, 5 for Clements, 4 and a half for Cody, 3 for Bowman and Gesser, 2 and a half for Kendall and Forsey, 2 by AJ Stump, Maxi Strickland with 1. We're going to need him to step up. Interceptions, 3 for Avery, 2 for Stump and Wilkerson. Gesser, Kendall, Forsey, and Browning all with 1. Bumbles forced. Four by Beal, two by Buckner, two by Armstead. Fumbles recovered, two by Buckner, two by Maxi Strickland, one by Cody, one by Avery. Blocks, one by Avery, one by Browning. Safeties, one by Buckner, Cody, and Beal. And then defensive touchdowns. Got two by Buckner, one by Avery, one by Maxi Strickland, and one by Chantrell Wilkerson. We got a new sub? Wait, what? It didn't pop up. Can, did somebody share it? 32 of 37. Long of 63 for Joel Edison. Punting Chase Sharp there. Kick returns. Long of 36 for Burton. Punt returns. Long of 35 for Sellers. Let's go check out the NFL stats. And then we'll look at all the awards. And then we'll move on to the playoffs. Let's see. Blake Bortles. 5,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Andy Dalton, 4,888 uh, 4, yards. Malcolm Tomlinson, 4,700. Touchdowns leading the way, 39 for Aaron Rodgers, 12 interceptions. Phillip Rollins with 38, doing a great job filling in for Roethlisberger, or replacing him, I should say. Blake Bortles with 37, Thomason with 37, 36 for Andy Dalton, 36 for Denton Ritchie. Let's see. Chinese. Always order Chinese trillion. So we got a new sub. Who? Oh, N NYJSEC. Dude, thank you so much, Sneaky Nation. I see some of you guys already throwing love in the chat. I'm going to throw some more love. Can we get all of the love? I'll get you a spin on the Wheel of Doom. I actually owe you some spins on the Wheel of Doom for the two names. I, I think Peyton was one of those accounts. Who was the other, though? I think I owe y'all four. So these first two for Peyton. 500 ploobs, 100 for the chat. Oh, thank you. Time out of viewer of your choice for two minutes. I'm so glad it was not another jelly bean. That was terrible. This is for the other sub. I don't know who it was. 500 ploobs, 100 for the chat. 100 plubes, 20 for the chat. And for this new one that we just got, the alert has not popped up yet. Three songs of your choice. You get to pick three songs. It cannot be during this segment, though, because this is all going on YouTube. Uh, but afterwards, let us know the three songs, and we will play them on the stream. Bruce Allred, 31 and 8. There's Hudson Bonani. Certainly would have been higher on this list had he not missed the last few games, though. You can give it to Peyton. Peyton, I always thought you had the Ashley Bearham account. Both were you, Jamie? Why did I always think Peyton had the Ashley Bearham account? Didn't Peyton? Jamie, thank you so much. I'm so sorry, dude. All the Jamie. I, I am terribly sorry, dude. I just missed you saying that in chat. I could have sworn Peyton. I remember you had one as well. Did y'all both? Jamie, I'm so sorry, man. Thank you so much. Jamie copied you. So Peyton did have an account, too. Leading the way in rushing yards, Kirkland Marion, nearly 7,000. 7,000? 1,700. I'm so tired, guys. I really didn't sleep last night. I'm so sorry. Jamie, thank you so much, dude. I'm sorry for plebbing that all up, man. 14 touchdowns. He did fumble the ball four times, including costing the 49ers their undefeated season. That cannot happen in the postseason. We upped his carrying to 99. We'll see if that holds on strong. Devontae Freeman, nearly 1,500 yards, 13 touchdowns. 
Giovanni Bernard, nearly 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns for him. Abdullah, 1,100. Gurley, 1,100. Warfield, over 1,000. Henry Johnson, C.J. Anderson, and Procise, all over 1,000. Leading the way in touchdowns, C.J. Procise, 16 touchdowns on the season. Kirkland Marion and Giovanni Bernard tied with 14. Then you got Freeman and Henry with 13. And then Daryl Cleveland, Darion Cleveland's brother with 12. Sean Kaysen with 12. Receiving the ball, Darion Cleveland leading the way in catches. 124 for the rookie tight end. 1,300 yards. A.J. Hearns with 107 catches. Melquan Starling, another rookie. 104 catches, 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. And Siante Cherry, 102 catches, 1,500 yards, and 7 touchdowns. Earl Anthony, 98 catches. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah, we'll use the XP. We will. NY, uh, wait, NY? Is that it? NYJSEC, thank you so much for that subscription as well, man. I greatly appreciate you. Yeah, if you refresh it, you should be able to, uh, to, to share it on the, the stream. Antonio Brown, 94 catches, 10 touchdowns. Brandon Cooks, 92. Green Gronkowski, scroll down the list a little bit. There's Eubanks. He's outstanding. And then touchdown, 16 for Kadarius Folston. Darion Cleveland with 14. Tavon Austin with 12. Earl Anthony and Des Bryant with 11. Gant Pennington with 10. Tajay Sharp, 10. Antonio Brown, Coleman, Parker Finner, Odell Beckham Jr., and Dorsett with 10 as well. So Parker Finner, Antonio Brown. Thought they had another guy with over 10. Might be mistaken, though. All right, so yeah, Jamie just added two hours onto the stream by himself. And then we are one new sub from adding another hour to the stream. So let me add this right there, too. Make it seven. You guys are rising up today. Thank you guys so very much, man. Perryman will lead the way in tackles with 166. Enrique Milburn, 160. Sacks, 18 by J.J. Watt, 15 by Corey Orr. 15 by Robert Quinn, Coney Ely with 15, Jamie Collins 14 and a half, Mario Edwards Jr. and Casey with 14, Dante Fowler Jr. 13 and a half, Aaron Donald 13, Tremont Patrick with 12 and a half, Wilkerson 12, Graham with 11 and a half, Diggs and Houston with 11, McPhee 10 and a half, and Griffin and Smith with 10. Interceptions, 10 by Chris Harris Jr. I think that's like more than our whole team got together. Seven by Kenny Vaccaro, six by Verrett and Kendricks, Hayden Jenkins, David and Darius Slade Jr., five for Gilmore, Peterson, Amerson, Ben Wickery, and Norman. And again, our leading intercepting guy got three. Jason Westbrooks, this guy's outstanding as well. He had four interceptions on the season. Fumbles forced, five by Avery Williamson. Ely with five. Sean Williams with five. Whitehead with four. Fumbles recovered. Five by Ely. Five by or three by Williams, Brown, and Kenny. Blocks. One by a plethora of players here. JMR, thank you for that follow, man. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. Safeties. Two by Hayward. One by Joseph, Judon, Rucci, and Wilkerson, and Stringer. And then defensive touchdowns. Two by Josh Norman. One by TJ McDonald. Scroll down the list a little bit here because there seems to be quite a few of them. And again, if your players don't qualify in the top of tackles, they will be glitched out of this a little bit. Kicking Joel Edison. A long of 63, next best, was 57. He also had two field goals blocked, though. Also had three extra points blocked. Very uncharacteristic for that 49ers special teams. Kick returns. The touchdowns. Montgomery, Abdullah, Freeman, Fuller. Down the list we go. And then the punt return touchdown. It's going to have a few players with two here. Clemens Moten. We saw how good of a return guy he was. And Whitehead. Odell Beckham Jr., Bridges, Whittington, Abdullah, Brown, Compton, and Ratliff. All with punt returns for a touchdown. All right. Let's go spin this Team XP before I forget. Yeah, I did add the hours. We're at 12 hours. I've been streaming for over three. Yes, I have added the hours.
All right, spend team XP. All right, Connor Piscatelli. Man, you know what? Where Joshua Garnett failed to improve as a player, I think Piscatelli might step into this starting role. Wow. Oh my gosh. So much XP to spend for Piscatelli. 73 to an 84 overall. He had superstar development, but wow. That is a huge gain. Chase Sharp, the punter. Come on. It'll go to an 84 overall. Oh. Ban cue ball. Oh, yeah, for your timeout. I got you. There it is. I got you, bro. Sorry, I've just had other things. I'm trying to work it out. Dustin Morton here. And again, this this run block for these interior linemen is what I'd really like to improve. Impact block as well. Get pass block up one. Get awareness. That'll take Dustin Morton to an 83 overall. Look at this offensive line. So much XP for them to use. Right tackle. Well, your your tackle needs or your pass block needs to be better. Spend a lot of this on XP, I think. Or on awareness. 87 overall for Corey Whitley. Holy crap. Wow. We drafted so many good offensive linemen in late rounds, dude. And it is paying off. Siante Cherry. Kind of want to get that spectacular catch up a little bit more. Just getting all of his catching up. I need this guy to come down with some crazy catches. Those long streaks is what I'm looking for. Look how good this dude is. Unreal. 88 over. That only took him up one point. Are you for real? Wow. I thought he was going to go up a lot more. Tevin Lacina. Ninety overall. This offensive line is so beast. Darion Cleveland. All right. Catching traffic. He seems to hold on to the ball a lot anyway. Eighty-eight. Release and route running is so cheap, though. Oh, my gosh. Are you... 96 overall! Holy crap! Q's gone bad. Oh, my gosh. Wow! Deece. I mean, Deese is going to lose his job to that other guy, probably. I'll take him to an 85. Wow. Yeah, Q should be back by now. Freaking ridiculous. Cleveland's not great at run blocking. That's the downside. <laughs> Uh. All right. I want coverage to be better, man. I don't care what it takes. We need our coverage to be better. Get you some power moves as well, because why not? 
pretty happy with your play record. Let's just, again, want him to be good in coverage so we can actually keep him there on certain downs. 91 for Tajay Beal. Timothy Crowell? This is crazy, dude. I don't want anybody coming from that side, though. 88 overall. Hudson Bonani. This is the big one. This is the big one. Well, what's your injury rating? I think it was a fluke injury. The dude's injury rating is great. Clutch, yes. Throw away, yes. All right. Let's see if I can get this to a 90 first. All right. That'll take him to an 85 overall. Not as good as I thought, but his accuracy is really solid throughout. Play action. Do that one. All right. Joshua Garnett. He is going to lose his job. He just has not progressed well at all. His points to upgrade him are ridiculous. I don't know why it's so cheap to upgrade everybody else, and then his is like 5,000 XP. Guess it depends on the development, I suppose. I just don't see how he's going to hold this job, though. I'll take him to an 84. The XP sliders are on Operation Sports under uh, T-Dog Sliders. They're also shown if you go to my YouTube and look at one of the Madden videos. They're in the links there. Well. Get your injury rating up. But don't know if it's really going to matter. He might retire after this season. We'll just wait and see, I guess. John Forsey again. He's he's done for the season. All right. I'll take him to an 82. Anybody else here? Will Redmond, Philip Clemens, Sean Kendall. All right. Guess get your block shedding crazy up if I'm planning on moving you over. That'll take him to a 75 overall. Demarcus Avery has some XP to spend. Get him better in man coverage for uh, when I'm sending a blitz. Oh my gosh. You guys are all over the place. Philip Clemens, get your awareness and play recognition up right now, I think. I'll take him to an 83 overall. Let's see. Hey, no worries, J.W. Lee. How you doing today, man? Oh, we were... um. We were 14-0 trying to get an undefeated season, but it didn't work out, Sloppy. Didn't work out, man. Alright. I'll change the title to Playoffs, because we're getting ready to start the Playoffs here in a little bit. Alright, here's Chambers. And he might fill in um, as a backup middle linebacker. So, we'll see what happens there. Our secondary's coverage can't really go up much more. Maxi Strickland. We're going to need a lot from Maxi Strickland here. A lot more than um, reasonably should have been expected. That'll take him to a 73 overall. All right. Here's Trevante Heath. He's going to be starting now. All right. That'll take him to an 83 overall. Yes, Trillion. Chinese is delicious. 
No, nah, we did not sim the season. We've been playing all the games. Eh, I'll take him to an 88. I don't know if that was the best way to upgrade him or not. All right. Here we go. I mean, yeah. What do I really improve here? Quattro, thank you for that follow, man. Welcome to Sneaky Nation, dude. All right. That'll work. AJ Stump. All right. Man, press, zone. 93, that'll work. All right, I might just upgrade the rest. Auto upgrade it. I wouldn't mind actually upgrading Soma Black Shear. Get that awareness up as I can. All right, I think we might auto upgrade the rest. Here's Asher McClover. Okay. <clears throat> um. Awareness. All right. Here we go. Auto upgrade. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, though. No, we did not go undefeated, man. Um, Kirkland Marion fumbled the ball, and the Rams returned it for a touchdown with 40-something seconds left. Yearly award. Oh, well, we'll look at the weekly awards first. All right. And Siante Cherry, seven catches, 213 yards, two touchdowns in week six. Tajay Beal, seven tackles, four sacks, and two forced fumbles in week nine. Hudson Bonani, 34 of 47, 480 yards, four passing touchdowns, two interceptions, and 16 rushing yards in week 10. Do we have anybody else? Kirkland Marion, 21 carries, 239 yards, three rushing touchdowns in week 14. Kirkland Marion again, 24 carries, 156 rushing yards, three rushing touchdowns in week 15. And that'll do it for our players. There's Ben Roethlisberger on the Ravens. So weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, Enigma. Alright. Blake Bortles, once again. Winning MVP. <clears throat> uh, come on, Madden. Andy Dalton at number two. Phillip Rollins at three. Aaron Rodgers, four. Malcolm Tomlinson, or Thompson at number five. Kirkland Marion. At number six, Hudson Bonani, the rookie, at number seven. Might have been higher on this list had it not been for an injury. Russell Wilson at eight, Denton Ritchie at nine, and Bruce Allred at number ten. He got injured as well. Coach of the year, Thomas Pita. There you go. Gus Bradley at number two. Albert Blazer at three. I'll just kind of scroll through this one. John Harbaugh on the Panthers, though. Start off with the AFC. Andy Dalton winning Offensive Player of the Year, even though Blake Bortles won MVP. Philip Rollins at three, Mariota at four, CJ Procise at five, Vallejo at six, Matt Ryan on the Chargers at number seven, Derrick Henry eight, Kadarius Folston at number nine, and CJ Anderson at ten. Defensive Player of the Year, Denzel Perryman number one for the Chargers, Jamie Collins at number two, Roy Lacey at number three, Irvin Hutton at number four, Avery Williamson five, JJ Watt at six, Dante Fowler at number seven. Preston Brown at 8, Darren Lee at number 9, and Brandon Marshall at 10. Offensive rookie P.J. Clayton for the 3-13 and 13 Colts. Only a 68 overall, but apparently he got it done this season. Scott Dyson for the Chargers. J.T. Tanner for the Broncos. Darby Wiley for the Bengals here. Robert Wright for the Dolphins. Tremaine Compton for the Dolphins. 81-77 and 77 overall, so two good players for them. Ruben Kirby at 68 overall for the Bills. And another Dolphin, Marcos Holloway, 
72 overall. Austin Rudolph, 80 overall for the Raiders. And Kobe Kyle, 79 for the Patriots. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Antoine Brackens for the Jets, 73 overall. Kandarius Babber, 83 for the Ravens. Philip Dedrick, 83 for the Titans. Alex Amaya, 79 for the Bills. Latevin Weston, 72 overall for the Steelers. Wilbur for the Jets. Lacey, Sidney Hazleton for the Jets. They had a few players there. And Phillip rounding out the rest of the rookies there. Best quarterback. I'm going to start scrolling through a little bit quicker here. Let's see what we can do. Running back, CJ Procise. Interesting to see that. It's just weird. There's uh, Daryl Cleveland for the Jags. Wide receiver, Kadarius Folston. All right. Sammy Watkins there. Crowder. Offensive line, Luke Jokel. Oh, my gosh. This game and the Jaguar love that they have. I'm telling you. Defensive line, J.J. Watt. Linebacker, Jamie Collins. Uh, was Irvin Hutton a rookie, though? I'm pretty sure he is. Pretty impressive to see him there. Defensive back, Chris Harris Jr., Jason Verrett. Sisty Johnstone, 91 overall now. Jason Westbrooks at 85 overall. And kicker. On to the NFC. Aaron Rodgers winning Offensive Player of the Year. Kirkland Marion coming in just shy at number two. Denton Ritchie at number three. Devontae Freeman at four. Russell Wilson, five. Malcolm Tomlinson, uh, Thomason, six. Stafford at seven. Bruce Allred, eight. Antoine Street at nine. And Jameis Winston, ten. Defensive Player of the Year, Tajay Veal for the 49ers. Kevin Minter at two. Tahir Whitehead at three. Alexander at four. Corey Orr, 99 overall at number five. Coney Ely at six. Robert Quinn at seven. Luke Keekley eight. Jake Ryan, nine. And DeForest Buckner coming in. At number 10, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Hudson Bonan, despite going down with an injury, will still win the award. Darion Cleveland, 96 overall at number 2. Siante Cherry at number 3, 88 overall. 80 overall, Starling for the Packers. Reggie Evans, the wide receiver for the Panthers, 76 overall. Nick Artis Payne for the Seahawks. Will Setterstrom. For the Falcons, Corey Favors for the Cardinals, A.J. Carruthers, Carruthers for the Redskins, and Carlos Mohamed for the Packers, 79 overall as well. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Robert Ship, 83 overall. Isaac Key, 82. We saw him go down with an injury, though. Granville, 82 for the Redskins. Posey, 68 for the Panthers. Nunley, Pearson, Gilchrist, who we just saw recently. Cedric Mace for the Giants. Kadarius Kendall for the Cardinals, and Will McDaniel for the Cardinals. Best quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Hudson Bonani coming in at number four. Running back, Kirkland Marion coming in at number two. Freeman, number one. Wide receiver, Earl Anthony, one. Des Bryant, two. Siante Cherry at number three. I thought he was going to be a bit higher than that, to be honest. Offensive line, Zach Martin, Smith, and Frederick for the Cowboys. Timothy Crowell there at number four. Dee Slicina will also be on the list for the 49ers. Defensive line, Corey Orr, Ely, Robert Quinn, and DeForest Buckner coming in at number four. Linebacker, Tajay Veal, number one. Kendricks, number two. And then defensive back, Kenny Vaccaro, number one. Interesting to see that. Ben Wickery, Slay, Diggs, Cornelius Kenny. Kicker, Dan Bailey and not Joe Ledison. Those blocked field goals coming back to haunt him a little bit. He did have the long of 63 yards this year, though. All right. So, that is it for all of the stats. Are you guys ready to move on? Let's check out what we've got playoff schedule-wise. The Titans at the Chargers. Let's get some predictions in the chat, guys. Buccaneers at the Giants. Steelers at the Patriots. And Rams at the Packers. Rams gave us our first loss. What if we end up playing them? That's going to be interesting. Coach XP, I could do that. I don't care super much about it, to be honest. But, I mean, if you guys want me to do it, I can. Where do I do that at? Happy dude. Thank you for that follow, man. Welcome to Sneaky Nation. 
Is it like under coach goals or? I don't even know what it would be under. Honestly, I have the scouting one. That's really the only one that matters to me. All right, we got some predictions in the chat. I like it. Lightning, thank you for that host, man. Do I need to make a change on the offensive line? I think we'll stick with what we have. Oh. Whitley might be better than Deese now. But Deese has been our, our starter all year. I think I'll stick with him for the time being. I think we're good to go, though. I think we are good to go. Goals, then press X. All right. All right, we can do that. There it is. If we play the Rams, though... All right. Advance to the next week. Here we go. I've been here for ages, but hey. <laughs> Giggsy, what's up, man? All right. We are playing the Buccaneers. They went 9-6-1 during the regular season. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything that happened during the wild card round of the playoffs. The Titans and the Chargers. Titans win 35 to 14. Big victory there. Matt Ryan struggling uh, in this one. 232 yards, one touchdown, but two interceptions. Mariota, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, 263 yards. Jejuan Gay, two touchdowns for him, 74 yards. Washington, 39 yards. He also fumbled the ball. Matt Ryan had a fumble as well. Jason St. Louis did rush for a touchdown in this one. Receiving the ball, Hunter Henry, six catches, 52 yards. Terrell Terrell, now on the Chargers, former Steeler. Six catches, 54 yards. DeMarco Bullet five for 84. Jejuan Gay had a receiving touchdown as well. Javante Manning with a receiving touchdown. And Devin Funches with a receiving touchdown. Defensively, Revis leading the way with 11 tackles. Sacks got one and a half by Itachu. I said that correctly. Bosa and Lugit, again, if I said it correctly, I don't know. Interceptions, one by Brothers, one by Philip Dedrick, the rookie cornerback who has been outstanding for the Titans. Fumbles forced, one by Williamson, Dupree, and Tory Keys. They would all be recovered. On to the next one. 21 to 6, the Buccaneers with a victory over the Giants, and this is the team that we are getting ready to play. Um, and again, the Giants were missing their starting quarterback, their franchise quarterback, Bruce Allred. Granted, Stephon Griffin did give us a good game, but he struggled in this one. Brink not doing any better. Um, pretty easy game for the, the Bucks, considering the Giants were missing such a key player. I wonder if Odell Beckham Jr. was still injured. We'll have to find out. Doug Martin, 19 carries, 81 yards for him. Lamel Bryson, 14 carries, 56 yards. Kent Bruce, 11 carries, 47 yards, and a touchdown. Receiving the ball, Mike Evans, 6 for 72. Shamir McGill, 4 for 51. Sterling Shepard, 3 for 61. And Amari Cooper on the Buccaneers. Only three catches in this one, 21 yards and a touchdown, but they've got a deadly offense. And it does look like, I believe, yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. was injured. So the Giants just riddled with injuries. This was going to be a tough game from the start. John Simon, nine tackles, sacks, McCoy, Alexander, Golston, and Keaton. Interceptions, one by Jenkins, Gamble, David, and Vernon Hargraves. Fumbles forced and fumbles recovered. None on the day. All right, Steelers 35-10 to 10 over the Patriots. And that's going to be Philip Rollins, 353 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. James Vallejo struggling in this one, 194 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. Running the ball, Derrick Henry, 17 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. Kaysen and Obiozor going to get a touchdown as well. Receiving the ball, Parker Fenner, 10 catches, 107 yards, and a touchdown. Ladarius Green, 9 for 108, and a touchdown. 
Sanders and Whitehead each with six for the Patriots. And Sean Kaysen with the receiving touchdown as well. Defensively, Longa, nine tackles. Sacks, one by Marriott, one by Murphy. Interceptions, one by Longa. Fumbles forced. One by Langham, he would recover it. And one by Butler, it would not be recovered. And then, last but not least, the Rams have advanced 24-6 with a victory over the Packers. Their defense stepping up big time against Aaron Rodgers. 233 yards. They kept him out of the end zone. Zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. Jared Goff, 238. Did get two touchdowns. Also threw two interceptions, though. Leonard Mellett, 20 carries, 69 yards, 3.5 yards a carry. He did fumble the ball, though. Maurice Drummond, 18 carries for 51 yards, only 2.8 yards a carry. And then Eugene Fontenot had 12 carries, 32 yards, and a touchdown for the Rams. Receiving the ball, Ruben Randall, 7 catches, 95 yards, and a touchdown. Starling, the rookie, 7 catches, 73 yards. Cobb, 6 for 68. Ayersman, 4 for 30. Austin there. Who had the other touchdown? Down here, it was Leonard Millette out of the backfield. Nice, Millette. Uh, defense, Kevin Minter leading the way with 12 tackles. Sacks got a half a sack by Levy and Clifton Way. That would be it. Interceptions, Demarius Randall with one. And Ha Ha Clinton Dix with one. And then fumbles forced and fumbles recovered. One by Downey, one by Pfeiffer. All right. Let's get some more predictions in the chat. We got the Titans taking on the Jags. The Bucks taking on the 49ers. The Steelers taking on the Bengals, which is an interesting matchup. Because they have two brothers, Parker Finner and Howard Finner, going up against each other here. They're both wide receivers drafted in the same draft out of the same university. They are twin brothers. I believe they were the same age. I think they're twins. Um, so that's going to be an interesting storyline. And then you got the Rams taking on the Carolina Panthers. 49ers dealing with some injuries. Let's get some hype in the chat. As we are getting ready to head into the divisional round of playoffs after going 14-2 in the regular season. Can we get it done?